this video I combined 1,000 famous brand logos together all into one single logo. But I'm starting with combining 10 logos, then we'll move up to 100, and then finally 1,000. All right, so the first one, we're gonna start with combining 10 logos together. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut out the background of all of them so I can use each one. And then I'm gonna keep them all on the left side and then on the right side as well, we're actually designing them all together. All right, there we go. Now, now we got 10 logos right there. Now we just gotta combine them all into one. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with this uh, Starbucks logo right here. All right, so yeah, the first thing I'm gonna add to it is I'm gonna put the Apple logo, but I think I'm gonna just switch out the Apple logo for the stars right here. So it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna just actually, I'm gonna take this green color and just go over it. All right, and then I put the apple right there. Just duplicate it, put this other one over here, flip it as well. I don't know, it kind of looks weird flipped. I feel like it doesn't really look like the apple logo, so I'm gonna just leave it normal. And right, now for the McDonald's logo, I think I'm gonna just cut out the red. I feel like that's not even necessary we don't need it i'll put it inside the stroke so it takes away that red weird outline on it right there all right and then one thing i'm definitely noticing is there's no m obviously since it's a starbucks coffee so maybe i just turn the this to the side and maybe use it as the ease instead all right there we go so we basically put the mcdonald's m's as ease right there now we still got seven more out of the 10 to use. i think i'm gonna take this twitter logo and maybe change the star at the top for the bird right there or even i could just put you know little like twitter birds in the background essentially but there we go we just basically put three on that side and i think i'm gonna put three on the opposite side as well all right yeah there we go i'm actually just gonna take each one off from the left side after i use them all so i know which ones i'm using all right yeah so there we go now we got six left to use i'm not even sure where i should put this youtube logo i might even just uh all right, yeah i might just put this youtube logo basically like dead center i don't want anything to be too out of place so it kind of looks still like a normal logo and right, now we got five left on the left side all right so for this windows logo right here i'm gonna basically try and merge it with the background the starbucks logo all right, yeah, that's the closest I'm gonna get to that orange on this left. All right, there we go. Now we matched up all the colors on each side for the Windows logo. And then so these middle lines don't look all weird, I'm just gonna basically use the eraser like that and then just cut them out. All right, now I'm gonna try and blend these two colors together too since that hard line doesn't look really professional. All right, so now we're done with the Windows logo. Now we still got four more to go. So I think I'm gonna just put the Instagram logo at the top instead of the star right there and try and just blend the colors. All right, there we go. I basically combined that the best I could with the colors. All right, and this is not a trademark logo, so I'm gonna just take off the R and put that as the Olympic logo instead. All right, so yeah, that'll basically be the trademark logo. All right, and then this Adidas logo, I don't know really where else to put this than maybe like right under here. So yeah, I'll just do that like on either side right there. And the last logo, the Spotify logo, we have to find somewhere to put that. I think we can just honestly replace it for the O since it's just a circle right there anyway. Just cut out the logo, get those three lines. I think black probably so it actually uh, mixes in way better. Once I put this white like that, maybe make them gray probably. Yeah, like a light gray like that. All right, that's the 10 logos. Now let's move on to 100 and then finally the 1000 logos combined. All right, yeah, now we got 100 logos on this left side somehow right here gonna basically try the best to combine all of them together somehow all right and so for the first logo we just put this louis logo right here we connected this uh flag right here we got this beach logo right here which i'm gonna just change the color make it black and then just basically try and fit this somewhere right here it's not gonna look perfect there's way too many logos all right and then this burger king logo right here i think i'm gonna literally just put it in the circle of the beat all right so i was just gonna basically put this and put the uh cartoon network text under that part but it's still too blurry so i'll just use text all right next logo right here we gotta find somewhere else to put this as well it'll be kind of like a scale holding one side on each one put this a uh, gucci logo right here you got the little android dude next i think i'm gonna just put him keep him the same color so he's more recognizable i don't know how this is actually gonna come down to like a full logo together but all right as you can see we use all 100 logos right Right there i know this thing looks crazy but now let's see how a thousand looks that's gonna be insane and then i don't know if you can tell but this is literally like at least a thousand logos right here so yeah we're definitely gonna combine all of these into one but i don't know what i'm gonna exactly do a number 1000 right here maybe put just a bunch of logos throughout the number i think we want to have the text for the font right here actually a little bit thicker so we can actually fit more logos in it too there's definitely a better font right here just trying to take all these logos right here or at least some of them clipping mask it into this 1000 right here i want it to actually look uh good so i'm gonna just maybe do one at a time i'm gonna put some drop shadow on the text as well so you could actually see it a little bit better like pop out more and this for this next part like how it actually has like a cut off between the middle with a zero right here it actually looks clean on that part and we got the next zero right there now we just need this last one right here try and make it look a little bit different too all right so for this last one i'm actually just make them no color so then it just kind of looks a little bit different and there we go we basically got the 1000 logos combined right there i didn't know what else to do for it other than that unless i would have spent like you know a million hours just trying to create them all into one like weird type of logo and even then it would look really weird so that's basically it